Easter Monday extravaganza with Torval and Dean. So I suppose you think I'm only doing this in a kind of desperate attempt to hold your attention. Well, not so, Maybrav. These here are Elvis's sunglasses. You don't have to react to everything, you know. <laughs> this is Charlie Chaplin's cane. Woo, indeed. About, about to go under the hammer at Christie's, along with other historic pop and film artifacts that you can see gathered around. So we'll be having a look at the memorabilia and speculating on the prices in a moment. And shortly afterwards, Diane Carroll and Victor Moan will delight you with teeth and tan. And we might eke a word out of Frank Carson, if he's in good mood. I didn't come here to be ignored. <laughs> Who was that masked intruder? <laughs> Next week? <laughs> we must rehearse more often. Next week, theatre, film and pop memorabilia freaks will be baiting down the door of Christie's auctioneers in a desperate bid for the likes of John Lennon's frock. <laughs> Mary Pickford's trousers. Elvis, keep moving. Elvis Presley's father's <laughs> sheriff's badge and school photographs of Errol Flynn. Thousands of pounds will change hands to the delight of Christie's head of entertainment department, Kerry Wallace. I tell you what, let's have a look at, at some of the objects first so we know what, what actually is going up. These here, are, these pretty little booties. They're princes from Purple Rain. Princes boots from Purple Rain. But tiny little feet the chap has. Size five. He's a yeah. pisky, isn't he? And that, <laughs> those, those are his gloves. Huh? That's right, from the same film, yes. And his, and his mask. His mask. Yeah. That's right. And what else, what so else do we have? There's a jacket here, which is really oh. quite nice. This That's is Prince's film, jacket. Isn't he a little chap, yes, old? <laughs> Minuscule. And this, this is one of Charlie Chaplin's canes. That's right, yes. And that, those are definitely Elvis Presley's sunglasses. They are, yes. Yeah, because they've, they've got they've EP got... on them, yeah. And this is his, his motto, yeah. TCB, which means taking care of business. Taking care of... And look what, what we have here. This might be of use, it would have been a couple of years ago. Elvis Presley's address and phone book. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? I mean, and uh, what else have we got? Well, uh, while we're talking about Elvis Presley, we also... This is a record... This is his second record, yes, Good Rocking Tonight, which is the acetate for it, so it's before it's even pressed. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. On an old, an old dance set. Yeah. <laughs> Careful not to scratch it. Them. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Well, that's my generation we're talking about here. And there's all sorts of Beatles stuff as well, isn't there? That's right. We have these. This is quite nice as well. I thought yeah. this you might fit, fit you, Terry. Yeah. What is that? It's a big jaguar's head. That's with... Elvis Presley's ring, and it's it's gold with, and the jewels yeah. are actually rubies. <laughs> I'm keeping that. <laughs> yeah. Tell me how much you expect to get for these various items. We've, we've, there's much more here. Yes. Um, well, that's Elvis Presley's guitar in the yeah. front. Yeah. And we've got an estimate of four and a half to six and a half thousand on that. Yeah. Even in these straitened times, you think you'll get that kind of money for that? I think so, because it's very rare to have anything like that. On what, what would you expect to get for an old Elvis record? Well, not any old Elvis record. That is his actual second recording, and it's the, the first pressing, the acetate. So it's extremely rare. Yeah. And that's got an estimate of two and a half to four and a half thousand. And this here, this is a frock <laughs> that John Lennon actually wore. That's right. It's probably the only John Lennon frock to come up for sale. And he wore it in the Shakespearean sketch they did um, in Midsummer Night's Dream in 1964. And this, what's this here? That's Mark Boland's futuristic dragon suit from 1976. So, I mean, you couldn't put a price on those, really, in a way. It'll depend on how much is bid, but you think it'll be in the thousands. Yes, we've got the set of all the Beatles costumes, and we've got an estimate of 12,000. Really? Yeah. That much money? I mean, what sort of people bid for these kind of things? Well, you get people who are fans who, who just want to have something that a star wore, and you also get private, you know, private collectors who want to have something for investment purposes, and they tend to go for autograph materials, such as John Lennon's drawing. Yeah, um, that's but a, this is John Lennon's drawing here, mm, yeah. That's a particularly rare one because it's actually a, a watercolour and you usually just see black and white sketches of self-portraits. Yeah. And that's got an estimate of four to 6,000 on it. Well, how, how can you be sure any of these things... How, four to... <laughs> it's good. Yeah. 
good. So Harry, hold that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's not inconceivable in the, in the, in the years to come that, that um, Harry Stoneham's jacket might well be <laughs> Why not? If not, yours. if not destroyed. <laughs> yeah. and, but how do we know the provenance of these things? I mean, I think that's important. Yes. How, can you guarantee that all these are the genuine article? After all, that could be anybody's walking cane. Well, that one, we, I have to say allegedly, because we're not 100% sure. Yeah. It was given to the, the actual uh, manager of the Stratford Empire at yeah. the beginning of the 1900s, and we have a letter of authenticity to that effect. So they're all authentic? Well, we try and tr trace straight back to the to the uh, source if we can, and most of these things actually come with affidavits and so on. Brilliant. Confirming us. Wonderful. Well, uh, I'm sure it will raise thousands <laughs> and uh, Let's hope. be a focus of attention for people who, for whom these things are. are to, and I mean, for anybody, really. They're an investment. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Kerry. Thank, thank you. you for bringing them to our attention. Nice to meet you. <laughs> These are, these are Elvis Presley's boots. So as I say, worth something. So thanks to Kerry. Now it's not going to be easy, but I'm hoping to persuade Frank Carson to speak later on. Terry, I bet your bros won't be bidding for that. <laughs> a foul slur on a fine group. Well, the emphasis now is on romance and marital bliss. Three years ago. Oh,